Technical Corner. Welcome to Technical Corner. Today we're going to discuss the free access market in the UK and we're going to start with the Matsura VX660. Uh, Paul, we get all the niceties that you'd automatically expect from this machine. Um, the Maxia spindle for example, it's got a very square envelope. Can you tell me a little bit more um, about this machine and why if you were an end user you would look to buy this the, machine? Well the VX660 is a new model. They originally had the VX1000 and the VX1500 which were the bigger envelope machines. They were kind of missing a missing a trick in the smaller machine in centre market so they've now introduced Matsura have this uh, 660 machine which actually has an a working envelope of 600 in the X by 560 in the Y so you've almost got that kind of square working envelope which is what engineers are always attracted to when it comes to a Y axis they like a big Y axis and as you correctly said when you're looking at that market, you start to look at other characteristics and other things that, that stand out about the machine and what might push you in that direction. And the Maxia spindle has to be one. The, the overall build of the Matsura machine and the support that you get, and obviously the high performance that you can expect from a Matsura model, you could add fourth axis, fifth axis to it as well. Oh, it's definitely unique having a squarer envelope. Usually you don't have a, a longer X and a shorter Y. Um, great, great machine and with all the niceties and all the quality that you'd expect from Matsura. Let's move on now to the Doosan DNM 4000. And don't forget to put your comments in the, in the, in the comments box below on the previous video as well what you think about the machine yeah I mean well this is a great machine isn't it tell us what, what you think about this as a, as a, as a vertical machine in center uh, this is the the new generation of Doosan VMC's now um, it's the same footprint but a larger working envelope and they've really emphasized on this machine it's all about productivity so every little bit of design um, is, is, is based on getting the best productivity out of the machine from different control systems and different programming languages, all the training they give, all the conversational aspects to the programming language. It's also about the, the, the longevity, you mentioned it, yeah. self-lubrication. The, the Doosan have introduced that self-lubrication, so you're ensured that the machine, when it needs to be lubricated, it will be. Uh, and, and obviously Tony explains a lot more about that in this video. I think you're dead right, 800 millimetres in the x-axis, which is much bigger than the, the previous model in a small footprint. Uh, and there is, a, there is a place for an 800 mil VMC, a three-axis VMC. And of course, as you said, you know, when you need training on a machine, you've got the CNC Training Academy there, as well as the Doosan machines from Mill CNC. As a package, you'd like to think it's an attractive option. Oh, most certainly. All the backup that you get from Mills as well, you know, it goes without saying, it, you know. It's quite and the, on, on their control, they do have that uh, the, the kind of do sound. Tony was to shift his head out of the way, we'd be able to see it. But but they have a, their own um, their own conversational programming, like you said, that comes that is that is do sound have worked with Fanuc to actually produce, which means I know we talk about it five axis you machine off the machine or you tend to program off the machine. With three axis, you still very much want to be there, don't you, on the duck board? Exactly that. I think that's the, the, the biggest point, really, and, that, and that's why they've emphasised so much and making it so user-friendly to programme on the machine. Um, let's move on to the Deuce and... Um, let's move on, sorry, we've done that, to the Dugard 760 XP. Please keep putting your comments below. Um, Paul... We went to Dugard recently, and what, what can you tell me um, about this machine, please? The, the, you're right, we, we did go, and they got a load of machines there, haven't they? And I think the thing about Dugard is they select the right machine for the marketplace, and the 760 XP is, the, is a three-axis machine, extra performance machine. It comes with, they bring it in at quite a high specification, so you're talking about a 12,000 RPM spindle, a side mount tool changer, uh, you're talking about a, a machine that can have various controls on it through spindle coolant, uh, and we actually saw the witness this machine cutting in action as, as the uh, video goes on. You can actually see it doing a demonstration. It is a smelly, uh, fairly small footprint machine, but as you can see there, if you're cutting steels, aluminiums, then it's ideal for your subcontract machining environment. The XP, they also do the E-range, the Eco range, which is the, the more economically costed machine, which doesn't come necessarily with some of the the higher speed spindles and the things that you that you do get with the XP. So you've got some options, so it's a nice machine. Yeah, I mean, what what, what really um, impressed me with Dugard is their wealth of experience and how they cherry pick the machines in. And they know their marketplace very well and they're very well backed up. 
Let's move on now to the XYZ LR range, the 1000, Paul. And they do the heavy duty now that they're starting to push the LR range too. Yeah, the LR range actually is a 500, a 750 and a 1000. Uh, big, big for XYZ is the fact they're moving into the linear rail market. And with the linear rails, uh, you can obviously get cost down. So these machines, the, the meter machine actually, as said on the video, is £43,000, which for a meter VMC is very competitively priced. Mm -hmm. And the machines aren't slow either. They're quick. Uh, they come yeah. with um, various options for, from your tool changing, various options on the control as well. We've seen the machines doing demos. This is the 500 as well. So if you wanted a very small footprint machine with a very small working envelope, the LR500 is a very competitively priced machine as well. And, and then equally the 752. But it's this big argument between going from box guide way to linear rail. You know, what's best? Well, actually with XYZ, it doesn't really matter because they can offer both. Yeah, and, and linear rails, touching on linear rails, Paul, again, is it, it's the, the strategies, different strategies, faster feeds and speeds, lesser cut, softer materials, and, and again, I keep mentioning it in nearly every video, application specific. It, it, it is, yeah. because I mean, with, with, with the box guide, where you've obviously got a much heavier, as we'll see in a, in a video in, about to come on in a minute, you've got a much bigger surface area where the, where the machine is moving upon, so it disperses vibrations, so you do get a heavier duty cutting environment, but then some Sometimes you don't need that. So both options from XYZ. Now let's move Keep on to this Dali, please, Paul. Yeah, okay, the Dali. So uh, the, this Dali, talking about box guideway, this particular machine, uh, we actually looked at the machine here with, with all the guarding off. One of these had just come in, it had been delivered uh, here, and it was obviously going to be put together and then uh, PDI'd ready for a customer. But one thing I wanted to do was actually have a look under at the casting, have a look at the box guideways, and that's what we did here. And this is a good example of a machine where you've got the guideways that are actually machined into the casting. And that's the difference between a linear rail construction and this construction that we have here. They're huge. And you can imagine if you're hitting stainless steels hard day in, day out, you drilling operations as we see in this demonstration, you're going to need a machine that can, that can, can dampen uh, vibration to give you longevity really and even see the size of the ball screws on this this is a 1250 mil x axis machine from ward high tech it's nice to be able to see what you're actually getting for your money and i think um hitting on vibration vibration is a killer of cutting tools of your machine of, of everything really and um you know Dampening vibration is, is, is a huge factor. Well, you see that ball screw as well, yeah. the size of that, but you're right, it's not just the wear on the machine, it's the wear on the cutting tools as well. So if you're having to replace your inserts very regularly because, because of vibration, then again, having a bigger, heavier duty BT50 machine is, is an option. And quality of components as well, chatter in the components, etc. You know, yeah. multiple cuts to get better surface finish. So loads and loads of advantages there. Yeah. Right. Moving on, comments below to the Hartford and another box guideway. Yes, yeah, the, the, the Hartford is uh, from TW Ward. Um, Julia, I, I really enjoyed doing this interview with Julian. Very charismatic guy. Um, he's uh, actually mentioned that this machine is one of their best selling machines, the Thousand Machine. And he preaches the virtues of the quality of the machine, the build construction again box guideways. Uh, he puts machines in and they don't miss a beat and then he sells them another one and he sells them another one and I think that is always a show of confidence in that when you can put one machine in you know that the customer is going to come back for more. Again we're only talking about a three axis VMC here but you know three axis VMCs are the most sold machine tools uh, in the UK day in day out uh, and if you want one that's going to last then the Hartford is definitely an option. There's some nice features on it too. Oh yeah I like, I, you, you've actually got a video well camera within the the, uh, machine did we put that in there for? No. <laughs> uh, and you can actually watch what you're doing which is, is a great feature and very unique to yeah. the Artford isn't and, it? And that just sits there and oh, it's, it's moved now but yeah it, <laughs> it is it is there so you can see into the machine you can see what's happening some might say well I shouldn't need to if I've programmed it correctly but you still might want to see what's happening on in, in, inside the machine and uh, and they were running this machine while we were there and as I said, carry them in stock uh, and they sell a lot of them. So yeah. it's a popular heavy duty rugged VMC. I like it, Paul. Um, moving and if you on... don't agree, comment below. <laughs> <laughs> moving on to the Romy D800. I mean, Romy are absolutely huge in Brazil. And in the last five years in the UK, they're really having a big impact, aren't they, Paul? 
uh, for sure. And this is the 1250 machine, but they do do the D800. Uh, they do bigger machines than this as well. They do five axis machine tools. They've got a vertical uh, vertical turning center there to the right. Uh, they bring them in with Siemens and Fanuc controls. I think what, what Romy have done is they've identified what you need to supply a three axis machine with in order to get the order. Uh, and those things include compatible controls, um, controls that everybody knows, uh, you know, options such as uh, more tool, the more tools the better, higher speed spindles, the higher speed spindle with the more torque you can get the better, uh, reliability, X stock, the machine, all, all of those factors and obviously price and Romy are very competitive on the price as well. And I think they're the reasons why they've started to make inroads into the UK market. Um, you know, if you go to Brazil, <laughs> Everyone buys a, everyone buys a Romy, you know, that, so that they are a massive machine tool producer and they know what they're talking about. I really like the fact that it's a big point, in my opinion, that they actually build the machines in Brazil. They have their own foundry, so they're actually making their own castings and they pride themselves on the weight and the rigidity of the machine. And we've touched on vibration. You know, it's a big, big um, selling point. It's um, control, isn't it? You've got yeah. control over everything, and I think. The very fact that when you're buying a machine tool, you're investing tens of thousands of pounds, you look at the infrastructure behind it, you look at who's behind the build, or are they just a distributor, or are they the actual you know, equipment manufacturer? And I think Romy, uh, they score on the, on the fronts where you know you, you, you're going to get the backup and support from it on a quality machine that you, you need. Great value for money. Yep. Great, absolutely brilliant. Uh, what do you think? Um, let's move Comment on below. to the Herco VM5. <laughs> This is a very small a footprint machine. You're, tall, you're taller yeah. than this, aren't you? <laughs> Just about the window's quite low, but it's perfect. It's been built for me. Yeah, it's really been are. built for you. Uh, a, but on a serious note, for small machine shops, it is perfect. And they've had some real success with this machine. Uh, Dave, David Waghorn here was telling me about how many they've sold, uh, where it fits, working envelope. I can see why they've introduced it. It's the mini mill market. You know, it, it, it's that area, it's that mini mill market with, with, with maybe a bit more working envelope because you've got 355 millimetres in the Y axis, uh, 450 in the X, uh, and you've got a 16 station tool changer. So you've got kind of every, it's just a bigger machine shrunken down. I, I think that the actual working envelope for the footprint is not bad. Mm. You're getting quite a nice large working envelope in a very, very small, compact footprint yeah and um, yeah it is small physically but the, the, that that kind of envelope you know if you utilize that working envelope it's not bad at all well yeah if you've got the right work yeah. on it and you could probably make as much of this as you could maybe a, 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 a you know a 600 mil machine who knows but I think the big thing about the Herco as well is obviously the control so where they may have maybe lost business in the past when someone had a Herco but they wanted a smaller machine they couldn't offer the VM5 uh, but now they can, and if you've already got Herco control, you generally tend to stick with with what you know. Um, reliable brand, and of course, you know, uh, small footprint, lots of spindles in a small area. Yeah, and floor space is a premium at the minute, isn't it, Paul? Yeah. As we all know. Yeah. Uh, let's move on to so we're going, well, going from law small to large. Let's move on to the Quasar. So this MV one would fit Joe. Two, three, so five. The next oh one. yeah, this would be fit perfect. Joe. perfect. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> comments coming in below on all the machines we've talked about today but yeah this is the MV235 what do you think about this one I think it's a it, it's, it's a huge uh, bit of kit and it, it's a flexible machine really I mean if you're a, a big subcontract shop where you could be doing very very large components one day small components the other day or medium sized components the next and it gives you that flexibility to have multiple setups on your machine bed or to do or manufacture one very large component. So, um, you know, and it's got lots of tool options, fast, fast spindle speed, a, a maxia spindle. There's lots of very nice features, uh, multiple programming options, lots of very nice features. The, the, the biggest thing when I looked and, and spoke to the guys about this is the, is the Z-axis on this mm -hmm. is actually uh, is, is 661 millimetres. Without the, without, the dead zone. Without the dead zone. So, uh, yeah, okay, you've got two metres in the X and you've got 762 in the Y, but you, you've got a huge Z axis as well. So it is really about accommodating uh, bigger, bigger parts. You've got the double door, uh, and as you can see there, it's interfaced with a, with a nick and table, but yeah, you've got the Maxia spindle. I also noted the tool options. It's kind of 40 and 60 tools. Hmm. And on a VMC, that's often unheard of. You're down at, you know, you're 24, you're 30, you're 32 maybe. But these guys offer more than that as standard. So 
yeah, this Quasar machine is available from the engineering technology group. Yeah, the 40 tools could come in handy for multiple setups. So if you've got three or four different setups doing three or four different components all at once, there you go. And you can have them all on zero point location systems and, and you can turn it into quite a, a flexible system. And just before we end this uh, uh, three axis review, um, there's the, you know, you do hear on the, in the marketplace that the, the three axis market is dead, but it's not, is it? Paul? No, no, I mean, you, there are still more three axis machines being bought than any other three axis VMCs being bought than any other machine tool. Two axis lays and three axis VMCs will always outsell. Uh, you know, more sophisticated kit because they everyone has a need. You know, the investment level is lower, uh, and everybody needs to machine components. And you can often get away with machining complex parts on three-axis machines as well as simple parts. So, yeah, are, are we guilty of going for the wrong machine at times? I don't know. Yeah. Who knows? Hopefully, yeah. our technical corners um, help. So remember, do comment uh, in the in the uh, YouTube comments below and let us know what you think about the machines that we've reviewed. Thank you